Hello and welcome back. Today we are at Goodwill Outlet World where I have never been. Yes. Okay, so if you're watching this, A, you're curious what my first experience was like at Goodwill Outlet World, or two, you've never been to Goodwill Outlet World and you've never heard of it either. I mean, there's lots of options actually. Okay, but anyway, so we're here at Goodwill Outlet World and I heard it's crazy going in and I actually did a lot of research beforehand just kind of to be prepared and what to bring. And I don't remember actually these channels I looked at at the moment as I'm recording this, but what I'll do is I'll actually link below the channels that I watched and the information I got from them because it was really good. So some of the stuff that they recommended was like wear comfortable shoes, like closed toed shoes. I'm wearing tennis shoes. Another thing someone said is like bring some mask and gloves potentially because it could be really dirty like sifting through the bends, bends, bins, depending on what you're looking for. Um, they recommend, I brought water, but I'm not going to bring it inside. And then the other thing they recommend is like a fanny pack just to put around the waist so I don't have to put it on my shoulder or carry it, whether men, woman, whatever it is that you want to carry, but, um, something that you don't have to really be responsible for. Um, another tip that I thought was really great was getting the cart and I'm going to go in and then find a blanket so I can kind of cover up stuff because I guess people steal shit from your cart. And so I guess it'll be a curious experience. I see people going in and out a lot, so I kind of want to get in and check it out, but I'm going to kind of record and show you what it's all about. And then after the video, when I get back home, I'm going to kind of just do like a recap of what I felt, uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do different next time. And if I got any good finds, I'll share them too. All right, so I'm walking into Goodwill Outlet World and I'm looking for a cart, but I didn't see one outside, so I was hoping there'd be one inside, but taking a glance at the entrance, I didn't see any, so then I thought there might be some behind the register, but there weren't. So then I turned back around to go back in the main way. And looking in, I see lots of people on the walls having carts and bags and baskets, and I really was underprepared with my one bag, which you'll see here in a second. But I didn't really know where to start at first because there was a lot going on, but I kind of see at the end there was more clothing, so I kind of went down to the end. And that's where I kind of started and sifted through the bins and being very um, thorough about digging underneath because I heard, you know, don't just look at the top, look underneath because things get thrown around really easily. And so I just took my time going through that and getting piles of clothing. So you can see in the bag below, this is what I have so far. And I had to go to the side and sift through it and then go back. So it took a lot of time. But you can see over there is where they hold out new bins and people just go crazy to it. I stayed away from that. All right, so I literally just finished the bins and <laughs> I started at like two o'clock and it's like five o'clock. So that definitely took a lot longer than I thought. I anticipated a few hours for sure, but it was awesome. I honestly just put in my headphones and then I showed you a couple clips of like how crazy it was. I've seen crazier online. So the location I was at was pretty good. And I found some awesome things. I got like 20 pounds worth of uh, clothes and then a couple cute boots and shoes and I only spent 33 bucks so I'll actually do a separate video of everything I got because I actually found some stuff that I didn't know the brand but it sells for pretty well so I should get a really good profit on it so I'll definitely do another video on that but otherwise if you have bins in the area I definitely recommend going because before when I was like sourcing at just the Goodwills I was spending a lot more money and now I'm definitely going to make a bigger profit. I have a higher profit margin for sure. And I already just know it from the items I got because I was looking at them online. We'll see how it sells. Of course, I'll keep everyone up to date on that, but I'll do a video of what I got. But okay, anyway, that was just so much fun. I wasn't going to do a video of me coming out of it, but I had to just say I had a lot of fun doing it. I could have spent more time until my feet started hurting. <laughs> so I just want to recap and kind of add on to what I said in the beginning of the video on everything that I brought in and how I was prepared for it and what I'll do next time. So I mentioned in the beginning that um, I would get a blanket and put it over the cart which was a great advice but the bins I go to they actually don't have many carts available so I wasn't able to get one um, 
and this went through because I went for the second time and I actually didn't end up recording it which I'm kind of kicking myself I wish I did because I got some awesome stuff my boyfriend came with me and I was able to take away like 30 pounds of stuff versus the first time I think I only walked away with like 10 because I could only carry so much and I only had one bag so that goes into my next thing I only had one big like tote bag and you could see in the video how much stuff was put in it but it took so long to get stuff because I would go through the bins th fill it up and then I go to the side and I would kind of go through it and I was checking the comps on stuff because I really don't know brands or things like that so I was really meticulous in particular about what I got and it took a lot of time to do that. So I would go through that and then I would examine it and then I would probably get rid of about half of it because half of it was flawed or they didn't have good comps or you know I realized they were, it wasn't a brand that I should get. And so then I would go back and then go back to the bins again. And it worked out great, it was a lot of fun, but it was very tedious and took time. So the second time I went, I had literally a huge blue bin. I had another like big, tote that was bigger than the tote I had. Then I had two totes for the shoulder as well as a trash bag that I put in the fanny pack. Basically if you go bring lots of bags, lots of places to put it in, especially if there is not a cart to put it in. And also the second time I actually wasn't so particular about the comps. I actually was more going for style and uh, uniqueness and quality of the product and I just realized you know as I go, I'm going to learn more about these brands and what people like and what people don't like. I'm just not stressing out as much as I was pr before. Um, and two, I realized I'm going to the bins and I'm spending anywhere from a dollar to two dollars on the item depending on what it averages out to be. And when I was going to just regular Goodwills before, I was spending anywhere from four to twenty bucks on items. And so this has saved a lot of money for me and I'm able to invest a lot more into the business because I've decided to just do the bins. And because from the Goodwills, I'm just not finding, or I'm not wanting to spend the four to $20 on an item right now. I'm wanting to spend only one to $2 on an item just because of where I'm starting out with and the money that I'm investing back into my business. So you have to do kind of what works for you. And this is what I realized works really well for me. So to sum it up, when I go to the bins, I still wear the tennis shoes recommended for sure. The fanny pack worked great because I didn't have to worry about my purse or anything and lots and lots of bags to put it in. And I think that's all. Okay, yeah, so that is just a recap and the end of the first time at the bins video. I hope this helped you for when you go to the bins for your first time or if you've gone a few times and you heard something that you're like, oh, I should try this, then let me know in the comments below. And then I'm actually curious how many of you have gone to the bins and how many of you love it or hate it or just like whatever about it. All right, and the next video that I'm releasing is actually all the stuff I got at this bin haul. So go ahead and watch the next video and you'll see all that I got from my first time's bin trip. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe for future videos.